Okay, so let's determine the solubility from the KSP, so opposite of what we just did. So let's calculate the sol solubility of calcium hydroxide in water if the KSP is 6.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So how do we do these things? We're going to have to write out the chemical equation first. Okay. So. And if you don't know your polyatomic ions, it's going to be very difficult for you guys to do this particular type of problem. You don't know your insolubles, you don't know your slightly solubles, whatever you want to call them. So KSP of this is going to be CA2 plus OH minus squared. So, that equals KSP. Well, how do we figure out what those concentrations are? Can anybody venture a guess? Ice table. Okay? So, if you don't remember how to do an ice table, my goodness. Doing them all semester. Okay, so solids, throw that the lines in there, right? So did we start with any calcium? No. Any hydroxide? No. Okay. In these in these particular ice tables, I like to use instead of X S to remind myself I'm doing solubility. So this is gonna be plus S, and this one's gonna be what? Plus two X. So, um, we're looking for the solubility, so for S there, okay, so let's just plug in everything into this equation, that's all we have to do. So we've got the KSP value, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 6 equals um, S times 2s squared. Okay. So it's going to equal 4s squared times s, so that's 4s cubed. to two significant figures, 1.2 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Okay, so that's the solubility for calcium hydroxide in water. Any questions on that one? Okay. 